come through deliverance. All right. It says no man shall buy thee. Right. Right. You know. Yep. Keep going. Uh, verse uh, Hebrews eight and verse eight, and it says, "When I make a new covenant yep. with the house of Israel." Read that line three more times. Yep. It says, "When I make a new covenant, a new covenant, a new covenant with the house of, of Israel. Israel." So the new covenant is only for us. Right. And the Hebrew word for new is, is kadash, which means renewed. Mm. You know, so the covenant is going to be renewed, being uh, perfected, being put into programmed into our bodies mm. you know that reminds me of isaiah they shall renew their strength yep so we're going to renew our strength when we get renewed in the spirit rejuvenated when we get rejuvenated we're going to be brought back to a prime yep. state the word prime means first so all we're waiting on is to be brought back to our first estate you see that's what this is all about enduring to the end waiting and having faith on our lord and savior to deliver us out of captivity because nobody sits and thinks what do you need a savior for and from if this is if this is if this is it if this is land of the free and this is a god-fearing country then what would we need a savior for right because there's there's more than meets the eye okay because he's he's put a wool over your eyes oh gross darkness yep. he's put you under a gross darkness to make you think you don't need to be saved you don't need to be freed you just need a little bit more rights you know what I mean? That's what it is. No, I just, I just want a little more chicken too. You know, no, bro. No, we need the earth to go back right side up. Okay. We've been served. Uh, uh, we've been set up to be servants and slaves. Why can't the balance according to the Bible be righteous in your mind? Because now when the balance takes place, you will be a servant and slave. So you don't want justice. You don't care about justice. You don't care about God's people. You see, that's why Yahweh Shai said, in the last days, there shall be many uh, antichrists. That's right. You know, many shall come in my name falsely. Many are going to lie on me. Many going to try to uh, be with you. All right. That's why this is a battle. This is the conditions of the battle. The spiritual battle takes place in the mind. You ain't going to be walking down the street wrestling with a, with a spirit. You know, you're wrestling in the mind. You see? So this is why you need the true name. So if you out here as an Israelite calling on Christ, you ain't you ain't battling nothing, bro. You ain't if you if, if try to say Christ to a sleep apparition and see what that gets you. You know, shit, you probably ain't even going through that because you ain't you ain't on a level. Right. Because uh, what's it say when he come to serve the Lord? So they're not even serving the Lord if you ain't being tempted. Uh, uh, keep going to Hebrews eight and verse uh, eight, and it says, "With the house of Israel." And with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, mm. because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, said the Lord. For this is the covenant. No, and that's another thing. Christian American Christians talk so much about Israelites. Oh, they didn't they didn't like Jesus. They deny Jesus. They killed Jesus. Right? They say all these things, but when we talk about what you Christians have done in the name of Christianity, oh that was different, you know. Uh, Calvinism that was a long time ago you know Mormonism mm -hmm. I said it's eating my the other day he said I'm a gay Mormon what what well, that makes sense what's the name of Joseph Smith yeah. he was a mo so that proves he brought a spirit of, of moness Sodomite. Mon monality wow. yeah. <laughs> Saudis. yeah yeah <laughs> yep yeah. a little Saudi Arabia yes and it's uh, verse 10 and it says for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. So we got a contract to live by. We got a contract to look forward to. Okay, but Jake, they made a contract with death. We ain't out here to make no contracts with Esau. Mm -hmm. We don't want to be bound to none of his uh, lies and, 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 you know. Exploitations. Exploitations. You know, anymore. Yeah, anymore, right. No more. You tell, tell Xerxes we're free men here. Yep. You know, what Jake Cole say? All we want to do is be free. Yep. You know, all we want to do is take the chains off. Keep going. And it says, after those days, said the Lord. And see, that's another thing, too. Yeah, we're separatists. Look that word up, separatists. Because, you know, you got a lot of jakes where they that, that proves that we need the, the Lord. Because if you don't have the Lord, your spirit, you want to, you, you, you don't want to make Esau feel uneasy about this truth. Hey, we're not here to worry about your emotions or feelings. Because you don't want to know how we feel emotionally because of this place. Mm -hmm. 
You know? You got to wake up and rebuke certain shit in your head. That's fucked up, man. So I'm supposed to care because, you know, Karen's feeling a little, uh, well, that's your own damn fault, man. You know? Don't let, don't let us open the book on you and tell us what we go through here. You got it? Yep. It says a person who supports the separation of a particular group of people from a larger body on the basis of ethnicity, religion, or gender. Bro, that's the Bible. What's that, Deuteronomy? Can you get it, please? The most high is separate. What the? F so what's wrong with this? What's wrong with that? You had uh, segregation? Yep. What's wrong with that? Jim Crow law. You had Jake. They said we did better in segregation. And then Martin Luther. Which is true. Yeah. He said, uh, I done led my people to a burning house. You're damn right you did. Because the leaders of this people caused them to err. You see? We're not even caught up with that whole uh, 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 black anymore. You know? We got a new black. I mean, we, hey, you see a new black guy, you need to beware of him. Like Brandon T. Jackson. Yeah. You know what I mean? These new black leaders, you got to watch out for them. Those are the ones that are set up to get you. Well, That's the bait. Even Tupac said that, you know, they got money for wars, but can't feed the poor. Right. How much uh, Biden just sent to Ukraine? 800 million. 800 million. First 13, which, of course, you know, I got 13. Yep. Satan. But then 800 mil. And then guess what else he said? Even though it seems heaven sent, we ain't ready to see a black president. <laughs> You know, a lot of you niggas still in, in that Obama spirit, and that's why you voted for Biden. Yep. You know, because of that association. And then you just had the, the, the Bama Obamas. They just so-called, you know, they just got they got it again. And right. I said, you know why they did that? To push any more black love to go get shot. Mm -hmm. yep. You know, yep. that was their, their like that, that sweep. You know, let's see if we can sweep more of these niggas in. And now Dr. F. Or Dr. Doom, I should say. He, yeah. He's talking about it sprouting up again. Yeah, he's back out of nowhere. You know? He's back like he never left. So, hey, man, you people might think you're about to have a nice, hot girl summer. Your ass might be uh, stuck in the house again. Yep. Boy, LD's coming With soon. With a goddamn mask on your face. Yep. You know? This is Deuteronomy 32 and 7. It says, remember the days of old, consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father, and he will shoot thee. Thy elders and they will tell thee. When the Most High divided the nations, their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam. It literally says separate. So the Lord is a separatist. So that spirit of separation is from the Most High. He set bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. There you go. For Yahweh Ba Shem Yahushai's portion. Have a good one, brother. Have a good, have a good one, brother. Keep you in the, let's yep. Yep. Keep up with you yep. All right, all right brother. brother. Hey, the name the name of God is Yahweh, and the name of the son is Yahweh Shai. Yeah, so I, I know you are praying, man. So when you pray, when you pray to God and you pray to Jesus, you pray to his true name, which is Yahweh. Like in the Bible, you ever see Y-H-W-H? Have you ever saw that? It's called a tetragrammaton? No, no, no. Okay, like you ever hear people call him Yahweh? Yeah. Okay, well, the true term is Yahweh, not Yahweh. Yahweh. Yeah, Yahweh, because God, you could be a God of basketball, you know, a God of war, a God of pay, you know what I mean? Right. So God is a title. So his name that we are to call on as a people, because it's a holy name, is Yahweh. And then when you repent, you're feeling low, you need strength, or you're like, just please have mercy. Yahweh, you, Yahweh, you call him Yahweh Shai. Yahweh okay? Shai. Yep, so Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And you mm. pray, pray, please allow me to retain that. You know, if you be with me, please help me. Please help me. I, I believe. I'm, I'm trying to seek you. You know, I, I know this ain't it. I, I just want you to show favor unto me. You see? And that's what you do, brother. You know, and may, may the Lord be with you. I appreciate that. No man. problem, brother. And I yeah, see no you problem. guys like three or four times. Yep. I don't. And I always wonder what you guys are doing here. Yeah, we just reading the Bible, brother. I just have to look up my door. Yep. Yeah. And I'll caught a couple of words that's why i'm gonna put my jacket on came yep. over and sat down but yep. this is interesting what you say beautiful uh it's very clear because like i said being in the military for 22 years i've been to all these countries israel germany all this and that mm -hmm. they have different cultures different standards and stuff like that and their religions are all different it, it's crazy yeah you know but to hear from you guys speaking the way you was was the most clearest mm -hmm. i heard it was more clear than Anybody else brought to me from a Bible? Wow! Okay. Call all y'all, the way you guys break it down, it's just like wow. Okay, and that's what you guys need to run. Now. I like that. Beautiful, brother. Run with Beautiful. Because like it's so simple and clear, man. Yep. Yep. Beautiful. When it's true, it leads like that. That's the truth. There, Think about there it. it is. Yep. Hey, you have a good day, brother. You too, brother. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you.
Call all y'all by spirit. I was thinking a lot of scripture. That's the spirit. Resonate with the spirit. Yep, yep. That's Romans 8 and 16. That's the simplicity, I was shy. That's the uh, the eyes I'll see thy teacher, quick understanding, quick understanding. and that's um uh, it's uh, the words that you speak. That, you know, it's the Father that speaketh in you. Wow, Brakatei Al Bashim Al Shai, man, that's an older Jake too, who's been through a lot. You know, yeah, he said uh, he's, he's a, a twenty-two year old. Um, he said uh, marine, marine veteran. veteran. You know, I'm gonna say this too, just to rebuke Satan. Satan was telling me that I'm not edifying enough. You know, while we're at camp right now, like you're not edifying enough. You're not edifying enough, and that that was the Lord. Right. That was the Lord to, to, to uh, say, nah, man, you know, you know, not that I'm sitting here like, oh, no, but, you know, say you'll mess with you. Say certain things, try to throw you off. So call all y'all by Shemel mm -hmm. That's what it's all about, you know, and it's not us. It's, it's, it's we're being used. Uh, I've been thinking about it all day. I think it's First Corinthians 4 and 9. Paul watered. Yeah, pa can we grab that real oh, quick? First Corinthians 3. Can we grab that real quick, you know, because that's something you got to meditate on, too. And I say it humbly. But that's something easily that you could forget, you know, because you're being used. But you always got to remember you're being used. It's not you. Now, the Lord gives us things that we take on in our journey. But ultimately, it's the Holy Spirit. We're just watering and planting, you know. So the Lord gives you the ability to water. The Lord gives brother the ability to plant. But then it's ultimately him that gives the increase. You got that? Yep. This is the book of 1 Corinthians 3. And I'll start at verse 6. Uh... I think it's point start verse six. It says, I have planted. Let's start at five. Start at five? Yep. Okay. First Corinthians three. No, start at four. And verse start at four. Four. Yep. For while one said, I am of Paul, yep. and another I am of Apollos. Mm -hmm. Are you not carnal? Who then is Paul and who was Apollos? Right, like that's what we say. It's it's not what camp you're in, but you can see in the spirit where the Lord is pouring out the spirit on what camps. Okay? You can see there is a standard, but it don't mean just because you're in this now, it's because that's a, that became that could become an idol. Yeah, it could. Like y'all, I'm in, I'm in Great Bill, so that means I'm going to the, I'm, I'm, in, I'm an elect. Nah, you got elect everywhere, and certain brothers and sisters have been set up to be in these false camps for a greater testimony. You know, so you don't know what the Lord's got in store later on down the road uh, on this beautiful awakening. You know, you have a lot of brothers that went to other camps. I myself, I literally went to I, ISBK not knowing. That there were a different, a different uh, difference between the camps, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And then I'm just like, yo, why he keeps saying Christ? And then he looked at me, he said, y'all was shy. <laughs> like I'm like, oh, he ain't, he ain't Slick. sincere. Slick serpent. He ain't sincere. You gonna say something, brother? I used to watch H O I. Oh, you know? see, also yeah. Israel. Yep. No, it was the Bakken. Mm -hmm. uh, back then, I believe it was uh, W D N. We got next. Yep. You know. Yep. Didn't even know. Yep. But, th but that really, now through faith, we have to believe that's because we're of Yahweh Shai's sheep. And a another shepherd, they won't hear. So, like, we can't, we were listening, but we weren't hearing you. Like, well, don't hear me, though. Like, you know what I mean? We weren't hearing it. Like, it's not it. And there was always that, that great, it was always, you know, there was something that was hitting harder. You know? Like the brother said, it was clear. You know? And it goes in to say, uh, verse, um, verse 4. It says, who then is Paul, excuse me, verse 5, who then is Paul and who was Apollos, but ministers by whom ye believe. And I think this is Paul speaking. This is a letter to the Corinthians, and Paul, like, who am I? Right. Who? Because you know why? Because Jake can quickly idle somebody, you know? You can be quickly reverenced on a, on a God level. You know, you got Jake's out here playing street ball that are, that are treated like God, mm -hmm. you know? Because Jake is a sheep that wants to follow. There's a spirit to follow. That's why you have one Jake that has a lot of women because they're sheep following their shepherd, you know? And it says, um, even as the Lord gave to every man. This is a cool spot. Yeah, these, Through the spirit, the Lord, yeah. gave, the Lord gave us a cool spot, man. You know? Yep. It's like it's if, if they had the Wadi Abba and we went to like two different places, you know? We just want to teach, man. We just want to go home, you know? want to edify the church uh, verse six it says i have planted apollo's water right hey uh if you're not holding anything let's get uh mark five let's go into the parable about the plant you know remember yahweh shy mm -hmm. let's get that we ain't go into that let's get some wise words of yahweh shy you know so read that again i, I think it's four 
I always mix it up with five. Uh, first Corinthians no. three and verse six, it says, I have planted Apollo's water, but the most high gave the increase. See, the most, but well, it says uh, uh, the water and planting. Mm -hmm. The planting is the word, you see, the living water. So these are the things, the attributes that we've been given through the spirit, but the only way that these attributes will rub off to edify, encourage, and exhort is if Yahweh Bashmael shies with you. Oh, um, John 17, what did it say? They have not, if you didn't give them to me. I got you. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. Where it say, I was he said, uh, those that you've given me. Yep. Yeah, because yeah. ultimately, if you haven't been given, that's why he said, I, you have not chose, I chose you. That's what keeps us humble. That we we have been, we didn't, that, and, and that's what proves a lot of guys came up another way because you have to be chosen to go through this, okay? You could be woken that you're an Israelite, but you have to be chosen to be, you know, what, what you're to do, right. you see? So not all these guys that are out there teaching are supposed to be teachers. It says many are called, but few are chosen. And one that, and that that's uh, in the parable of the wedding, right? Um, I, I believe, yeah, I believe so. That account in Matthews is, it was going to the wedding. And then that says it at the end, you know? St. John 17 and verse six, it says, I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. And then we just, the spirit manifest, because that brother was walking away. But the spirit always has us like, hey, before you go, right. you know, before you leave, hear this. Get this key right get, here. Get this key right here. Yep. You know? Not, oh, make sure you take your hat off, face the east, get your staff. Hey, brother, check the tag. Make sure it's 100% cotton. Then call the Lord. No. We're not doing that no more. Maccabees has suffered that long enough. Remember, it was like two years? Yep. They had yep. to clean the temple. Yep. Yep. Two years you can't pray? Man, man. Imagine two years not praying. Mm -mm. It's a paradox season. We got your shy now. Yeah, that's right. So we don't got to be, hey, uh, uh, put the blood on your right thumb. That was all the law, remember? Yep. Put the blood on the right thumb and the right, uh, put it on your toe. Like, nah, man. You know? Now we in the spirit, we can we can call on Yahweh Bashmel Shai anytime. Mm -hmm. You know? And it says, um, which which thou givest me out of the world, thine they were. See, which thou they've thou gave it them me out of this world. So that's why we just water and we plant whoever the Lord has given to uh, whoever the most high has given to our Lord Yahweh Shai, then they're gonna receive it. Mm -hmm. They're gonna listen, they're gonna hear, they're gonna say, Wow, I was edified. And that's what the spirit be having us tell you sheep. Hey, we understand that for face value, you see us, but grow to the level in the spirit where you know it's not us that you're hearing, it's Yahweh Shai. Right. It's Yahweh Shai. It's the spirit of Yahweh Shai. He you say where two or three are gathered, there I am in the midst of him. You know, we're, we're just fishermen. You know, this word is the bait. You know, and the Yahweh Shai is directing our steps. You know, he moved us over here. He sent that, that brother. Boom. Yep. Great you know, yeah. the names. Yeah, and then that makes me think of um, it tells you Yahweh Shai said, uh, if they hear you, they don't hear you, they hear me, and they hear me, they hear my father, and they just yep. that's it. Yep. See? Hey, and that's beautiful right there to, to be in that spirit. To know that through faith that we're saying we're being moved through the spirit of a higher power and not our own. Because the times that we're coming into. You're going to need a higher power to get your ass out that situation and not your own. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's why, hey, you thinking it's you? You thinking that you, Mr. Uh, like Captain Zarak, he said, you know me. I think I'm invincible. Yes. All right. Yeah, right. And, no. and, and his flesh, no, you're not. Man. No, you're not. His flesh is a handicap. You may as well be in, in a wheelchair. Bro, I'm limping right now. You know? I got a knee brace on right now, bro. I got like asthma. Sword. Yeah, my throat. <laughs> I'm over here gargling behind the tree so we can speak. Uh, hey, we going through it, man. You know, back problems. Yeah, I was leaning on the sign. You're a handicap, man. I, I, you, I'm you sorry. May, you may as well be in the wheelchair. Yep. You know. I asked the brother. I said, "Hey, man, is it cool we go somewhere where grass is at?" My damn, we hurting out here, hey, bro. So the Wadi we found a nice spot we can be on the grass. It's concrete, killing this flesh, man. You know. And the earth too. Yeah, and the it earth. damages the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the top soil of the earth, the uh, first layer. Man. Well, that's why it says the earth gonna rise up against it. You know, but uh, where were our initial points? It's John 17. Let's read that again, and then we got the we'll get the Corinthians, and then we'll go into the mark. Back in um, St. John 17 and verse 6, it says, Thine they were, and thou givest them to me, and they have kept thy word. Mm. Now they have known that all things whatsoever. 
thine given uh, me are of thee for I have given uh, unto them the words which thou gavest me and they have received them and have known surely that I came out from thee and they have believed that thou didst send me. Mm, uh, freely give, freely receive. That's right. So we wasn't like, uh, we'll get, put the donation there and, uh, you know, we'll call you. We just, whatever the spirit gives us, we're going to give you, you know? Because, hey, we want to talk about the destruction. We want to talk about, but the spirit right now is getting more on Wicked Jake's salvation for Israel, you know, our savior. Because we're in a feast on unleavened bread, so it makes sense. The things that are coming out in the spirit. You know, because you got to understand, too, uh, the Lord will always prophesies to his sheep. He also exhorts them. It tells you in Timothy, uh, edifying, teaching, exhortation. That's why he set up priests, prophets, teachers, you know, things of that nature. You know, in verse nine, it says, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, mm. but for them which thou get, excuse me, but for them which thou has given me. Yeah. For they are dying. And now jump down to 21. And then we'll go back. St. John 17, and jump down to verse 21, that uh, that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. In verse 20. Verse 20? Yep. Oh, yep. Uh, St. John 17, and verse 20. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. That's the fruit. That's the brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's why this truth is detrimental in how you're teaching it because you could say the wrong thing and, and have some brother or sister bugging out, man, leading them astray, doing something crazy, you know, acting crazy, being crazy, you know, certain things you can't be saying to brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. especially if it's off and false or it ain't expedient. Right. Like, bro, that ain't expedient. Don't be telling them to do that, right? You know, what, uh, uh, the GOCC told him to go to where did he say Egypt? Egypt. He took their ass to Egypt and left them. That used to be a shame yourself, man. He, he took cheap. them to Egypt and left their ass, man. And he took their passports. Yeah. Left them. That's 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 some uh stranded them. That's some uh that's some like murderous. You abandoned sheep. You know what? Well, that's judgment. Those those are probably those yeah. that yeah. wanted to go back to Egypt. Yeah. Oh, that's fire. Even still, you know how he did up. it was foul. It's fucked up, but you know right. That's right, the Lord. Damn, we know we know it was judgment, <laughs> but we gotta talk about it. So they was probably like, "You want the leaks, huh? You want the leaks?" Damn, he took their ass back there. <laughs> he left. Oh man, that's foul. Wall. That's hey man, up. you came back to the states. I gotta talk to you, man. We gonna talk, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Long talk. Yeah, we gonna have a talk, bro. You're bugging. That's crazy. You're bugging. But um, First Corinthians. Yeah, back in First Corinthians three. Yep, finish that, and then you hold it, Mark. Yeah, we'll go into that. We gotta go into that. Cause what is, all this coming out is what? This is building us up to get ready for Jacob's trouble. To have that faith, to have that confidence, to be in that steadfast spirit. All right? While the rest crawl, crumble, and fall through doubt, misery, pain, and unfaithfulness. Because it says the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So if they ain't been given the gift of faith, they're gonna die without that gift. So we gotta embrace the gifts that we've been given to get ready to embark on the last part of this long journey to the kingdom of heaven and, and hope and pray that we are the predestinated souls that are going to make it out, you know? They're going to fight in the shade, as my man said, you know? Back in 1 Corinthians 3 and verse 7, it says, so then neither, I'll start verse 6 again. Yeah, yeah, the context. It says, I have planted Apollo's water, yep. but the Most High gave the increase. Yep. So then neither is he that planted anything now they hit that water, but the most high that give the increase. Boom. So that's, that's for say, so, hey, man, you go, hey, bro, it ain't me. You know, like somebody comment, oh, I love, hey, it ain't me, though. You know what I mean? Like, we, we, we get, but you got to get on a level to understand where this message is coming from. Exactly. You know, so you don't have to be in the spirit of worshiping us or, you know, elder this or, you know, that. You know, even though brothers out there ranking the ministry, mm -hmm. you know, but we, we still just... Just a humble servant. Just enduring. I'm just, I'm just trying to make it. And and because we love you, Howard Shai, that's why we out here feeding the sheep. Yep. You know, like like the Lord told Paul Peter three times, if you love me, feed my sheep. And that's what we're doing. You know? Yep. And then what's that saying in the world? Uh don't don't look at the messenger, look at the message. You know what I mean? Yep. Listen to the message. Mm -hmm. You know? That's what it's about. Like sometimes, uh see, and that you know what proves that? There's a spirit with that, like it has sex cells. 
it, it, the product isn't what got them. It's the sexual level you took to, to lure them in. Yep. You see? So that this is what the, you got to understand. Like us being fishers, we're fishing you with the bait through the spirit, though. We're not fishing and getting you with our garment and our yep. flaming lion and this fucking lampshade size uh, 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 ephod, you know what I mean? Or breastplate, you know, or to, to bring it out or to staff or that's right. Hey, we, we, we're doing it in, in, in humility and sincerity with faith, knowing through that the Lord is going to bring them in. Yep. The Lord's going to bring you in. All we got to do is press record, you know, send up prayers. But and press record. You got some, brother? Yeah, there, there's a, a group called Casting Crowns, and there's a song they sing called Nobody. You know, in the song, they say, I'm just a nobody trying to tell you about somebody. Ooh! You, know, so you, you should check out that song. It's very, need, very, yeah, very, very spiritual. I, I like stuff yeah. like that. Because we ain't song. shit, man. You know? I'm saying like that. I mean, you know, we we're princes of the most high power. Of course. We just. Right. We just vessels that the Lord blessed us to use like right like being out here is an honor you know i'm very grateful to be out here i know these brothers are very grateful to be out here right you Most know definitely. right like we don't lack self-esteem or confidence but we also maintain that humility too you know like we are we are men we conduct and carry ourselves like men but we're not proud exactly that's what it is see we're not proud we're not it. walking around with a puffed out chest saying yeah i'm the i'm the elder you know nigga i'm mcfabric exactly you right know? Right. Oh, I'm second in command. You give me some chicken. Nah, bro. Nah. Hey, we, 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 just like, you know, you hear brothers talk about the pie. Hey, we, we a guy's guy. Brothers are, are, a, 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 brothers are on a level to where, like, you would want that man around. Yep. Like, I could count on that man. I want to keep that guy around. But the ones that are, you know, real proud and arrogant and over, over there it is, and they're over righteous, you don't want to be around no nigga like that, man. This man said, you can't heat up a bye bye. For a baby on the Sabbath, you are foul. I would never want to be That's around foul. you. That's foul. I never want to be around you. That's like making the baby fast on a day of atonement. What the? F and the dog. <laughs> That's just crazy. Let's get back to our points. Back in First Corinthians three, in verse uh, eight. Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one, and every man shall receive his own uh, reward. And and that's the thing. Just like like Elder Apostle Gabar says. Now we give double honors. But, like, they know the ultimate reward is going to be in the kingdom. It's not all these men and shalom and shalom. That's not the reward we're looking for. The camaraderie, the love, that's beautiful because it's a ministry. Mm -hmm. But the reward that we're looking for, like you, is going to come from Yahweh Shem El Shai. It's going to be in the kingdom. That, that's the end goal, okay? Not uh, 6.5 thousand views, you know, and 144 likes, okay? Or sisters or shalom. No, and all you should want that. The, the end goal is the kingdom. We, the end goal is to make, meet the finisher of our faith, right. Yahweh Shai, you know? And it goes in to say, uh, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. See? So this is why we, we, we're diligent in our, uh, our doings. Because we have faith that with what we are doing, we are going to be rewarded for it, but from the Lord. Okay? We're not looking. Hey, at the end of the day, I speak, I just want to be able to maneuver through Babylon, you know, without the bullshit. But we also understand that we got to deal with bullshit because we're being purged to get ready for that ultimate reward, you know? But we're not looking for the Lambos, you know? We're not looking for a fuck... We're not looking for a Hellcat, okay? We're not looking for a record deal, all right? We're not looking for you to, to know about our secret talents that brothers do. Hey, brothers are talented. But the only thing that we show in the spirit is the talents that the Lord gave us. Right, right. So that we can edify you. You don't know what brothers are capable of. Right, and, and brothers have nice things too. Yeah. You know? You're right. We like we think we don't like nice things. Right, we right. like nice things. But it ain't about that. Nope. Because we understand all this shit gonna, gonna burn. Yep. Right. You know? Yep. Ain't none of this shit promised. They showcase it. We don't. Exactly. Exactly. Sheep don't need to know that. All the nope. sheep need to know is to be edified. Yep. Yep. You know? That's what you need. You need your Ayo Shai. Shai. You know, you may hear little things in there, what brothers experience, but you shouldn't be coming here looking for a life story, you know? Or to be trying to live a lavish life. Yep. Or fucking yep. <laughs> empty crib yep. Israelite. And you're weak if you do. I'm going to tell you like that. You're weak if you do. You ain't accept captivity if you want an easy way out. Well, you ain't accepting the ass whooping from the Lord, you know? That's why, uh, remember, he turned his face. They tried to give him myrrh. They tried to give him some drink. Oh, my man, William Wallace. 
He was chained up on the wall. And they was getting ready to execute him, which he was a Jake. Mm -hmm. The woman gave him poison. He he sipped it and kissed the woman because she was hoping that he could she he could.